Hey, yo, Sosa, you going to start us off? Bro, can we say thank you for everybody watching first, bro? Oh, you know, I've seen a lot yeah. of clickers. Thank you, everybody. Thank everybody, you for your time. We do appreciate it. This is For the Love, a podcast where we're trying not to get canceled, especially on this episode. Yeah, zero cancels. Right. We got some very special guests. Do we say we got some very special guests every time, though? Yeah, we got some fire guests, man. You've been lining it up. The we first do, episode we was kind of whack, but the, the rest been kind of fire. The one you were blurry on? Yeah, the blurry episode. I wasn't feeling that. But then I saw myself in 4K, and I was kind of going to go back to the blurry. All right. Do you <laughs> want to be blurry for this one? No, but uh, I definitely need uh, some like facial product recommendations for men facial routines. Well, this like, is a barbershop. I think I need some caffeine, like face, like Cucumbers. some jump, psh, 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 Cucumbers. The cucumber. Yeah, I need you that. know dog shit works really well. Nah, so bro. <laughs> I seen a lot it of makes weird. your beard grow. I saw a lot of shit on the internet, though. But that wasn't no dog shit. Hey, man. You'd be surprised, bro. I don't have know, you that's, tried it? That's when you know, I just feel like that's when you know you really have kind of hit like another level of success in life is when you start caring about your skincare. You're like, Seriously. Like, there's a hustle level, and then there's like, hey, I kind of made it. I'm going to start worrying about how I look. And that's kind of weird. Like, I'm going to talk to my sponsors, bro. Oh, shit. I, I fucks with liquid death. Sponsored by Liquid Death. Murder your thirst. <laughs> it, that <laughs> that sounds like they say that. was like the Winamp guy. Did they see that? Uh, I'm yeah, sponsored yeah, check. I'm sponsored by them too. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Nice. Yeah. I like yeah. that. We're going to keep yeah, we're that. Gonna hey, gonna you're really that? sponsored by them for real? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, yeah tell them home. to send the case. I was just going to send them this video clip. Oh, for sure. Yeah, I'll talk to them. All right, cool. Man, they're hella smart. I love that. Hey, I like that mango one. Everything they do is great. You know, I thought it was a genius idea when I first saw it. And then the marketing and the website and just the promos and even the flavors has just been like one up, one up, one up, never falling back. It's always kind of like really pushing it. And the the merch online, dude, top shelf, best merch game in the game. They got some shit. Did you design it? No, I did not. I wish I did. I wish I could claim that. That would be, I would not. I mean, did you design it and sign the NDA and say you can't claim it? Is that one of those? No, I, like you I would the catch the fine on that. I wouldn't. You would, I would catch the yeah, fine. Yeah, right, I, wouldn't, cool. I wouldn't worry. But how are we going to introduce our guests? Though I, I was thinking well, so about Sosa that. does this thing where he doesn't like to introduce them, so he likes to make them introduce themselves. Correct. Right. Yeah. And I think that's best because you kind of get to like really spiel your own spiel. Yeah. yeah get and the he might, and he might out. mess up your own name and mm-hmm. shit. You know? <laughs> that's true. It's the unforgettable. Yes, <laughs> we go by the unforgettables, <laughs> aka Mr. and Mrs. Jackson. I go by Mellow Jackson, uh, entrepreneur. Uh, I like long walks on the beach, uh, <laughs> sex in the shower. Oh, but uh, nice. yeah, this is my beautiful wife that I, I brought with me. And I'm Vanna Jackson, the one and only. Okay. The yeah, one we and only. need you to get into this a little bit more, right? With some feeling, you want some more Hennessy? No, I got my Hennessy. Thank you. You sure? Mm-hmm. We sponsored by them, though. <laughs> yes, that's what I'm looking for. Hey. No, seriously. Yeah. Of we, were, we were giving away Hennessy for like three months, bro. What? That's how Where much Hennessy they get. Yada came and they haven't come to visit us. Yeah, that's true. That's yeah. So just a little Hennessy guy back and everything. We yeah. used to have this this little segment, it, uh, Truth or Dare. Mm-hmm. Truth or Drink. Truth or Drink, right? Yeah. Basically, he asked the question. Hey, if the you front answer, of the microphone, please. If you answer it correctly, um, <laughs> then you don't drink. But if you don't, you got to drink. Here's the thing. Jose used to pour shots <laughs> like this big. Like big so, gulps? Yeah. So mm-hmm. where's the, the alcohol? Everybody was like, damn. <laughs> I was why. asking some crazy questions too, man. And when people saw how much I was pouring, like I asked this one guy in front of his two kids, which one is his favorite child? Mm-hmm. He saw how much Hennessy was in the cup and he picked the favorite child <laughs> in front of his children. He was like, no, I'm not one. drinking that. I heard that changes. You know, it's like a thing. It kind of goes and flows. Like, you're my favorite child now. Maybe in a six months, you might be my favorite child afterwards. I got a favorite daughter and a favorite son. Can you vouch for But that's different for you. But you, you, gotta, have you, if you had to pick one, and you know, it kind of goes in waves. Yeah, when yeah. They bring I'm home that one daughter. Card, you're like you're good. It's kind of weird because Milana's like only had straight A's. Oh, so like, like, like what, you, what can I do? Right? It's like, hey, can you fuck up a little bit? That's kind of like my sister. They put her like her <laughs> first detention. They put it on the on the fridge like it was a fucking award. I'd been getting a bunch of those. I'm like, yo, I never got one of my detentions on the fridge. It all depends <laughs> how you say it. This you have if you have a favorite child, you either raising your child or babysitting your yeah. child. <laughs> the one that you're babysitting is the one that you really don't yeah, like. You know? I, just, I just gotta I just gotta babysit this one. Is it? All right. Man, you know what you do is you just tell them you can untie their belly button. That fucks them up, man. Especially if they're at the right age where they actually believe you and they look and they got an any. That shit really look like a knot. Oh, like, that's like, my youngest one for sure. Yeah, She'd be like, please don't do that. Like, I'm you definitely up. gonna try that. I'm untie that belly button and that whole guts is gonna come out. Jose used to tell his kids that their butt crack is going to erase. <laughs> I used to look, I, I'm doing this thing with my daughter 
I don't want nobody to be taking advantage of her. Mm -hmm. So I'm like making things like she questions everything. Right. It was so cute in the beginning. Now I'm like, I did this to myself. But anyways, I would say like, hey, I'll be right back. She's like, when are you coming back, though? Like in a a minute, in five minutes? Or are you just saying that so you can leave? And I'm like, dang, she calls you out like that? I'll be back in five minutes. And she'd be counting. She's like, all right, cool. I'll Mm -hmm. be waiting for you. So that's the type of person. But it started with little jokes like she would be crying about, you know, something kids cry about. Mm -hmm. And I said, Lana, you should be very thankful. My name's Lana Sky. I was like, Lana, you should be very thankful. And she's like, why? And I'm like, there's people in the world that don't have an ass and they can't sit down. <laughs> all right. So they just, they literally stand up all day. And she's like five. So she's like, really? And they don't get tired? And I'm like, yes. So you should be very thankful. And that stopped the whole argument. Right. Right. Now I can't use that same one anymore. I felt like I hit, I, I used my really good ones in the beginning. Right. She's going to use but that from, later on. Suffer from no ass at all. Yeah. <laughs> like, you know. Hey. Crazy question time. What's wrong? Right? Oh, We're going to cut this Jumping a little in. bit. Mm-hmm. You guys got daughters. Mm-hmm. Yes. How would you feel if your daughters were to go in your profession? Oh, oh hell what? no. Uh, but what yeah. did they do, though? Yeah, they Damn, can pick relax, up. Relax, bro. Let them talk, <laughs> man. Uh, they want to pick, mm-hmm. pick up the camera? That's cool. That's fine. No, in Being front of the camera. In front of the camera? Nah. They, they're not going to want to do that. They're not going to do that. So you know that's, not gonna, that's not going to be an issue. And Listen, uh, don't attack me. I'm right? not attacking you. He gave you. me the question. Mm-hmm. All right? <laughs> I just, I'm just i just getting to a point I'm as to saying. why they're not going to want to. And that's mm-hmm. the important part. Not if they will. Is why they're not going to want to. Yeah, so they're so not going to need to. Yeah, they're, they're not going to need to do something like that mm-hmm. to make money. We're going to make sure that they have the things that they need and want so that they don't need to go do something like that. So you're saying that people that go into this industry do it only because they need the money? Most, well, of, them. most of them, yeah. yeah. Is right. it good money? Yeah. yeah. If, I mean, if you, on both if, sides? Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's good money on both sides. Definitely. Um, especially if you, if, you know, talent markets themselves properly, they can make millions. Like I know some girls that make. Uh, shit, $100,000 a month off their cell phone. Yeah, ridiculous. That's just off the phone. You know, mm-hmm. that's not counting the scenes that, nice. you know, they get booked for and whatnot. So. And, and in that industry, does it work like uh, like in a residual kind it, it, concept, like in other professions where you kind of get like a monthly kind of ch- stipend or payment? No, no, no. no. Once, uh, once we film you, that's that uh, belongs to the company that, that booked you. In oh, perpetuity? Okay. Because Kanye's been using that word a lot. Mm-hmm. And in perpetuity means you don't make no more money off, off no, of it. No, that means mm-hmm. forever. Forever, right? Forever, That's ever, what that means. Forever, ever, ever. Mm-hmm. Kanye taught me. Oh, Kanye. That's in perpetuity. Don't, don't, don't His, name His name is Ye now? His name is Ye now? Yeah, I would, no, I would First of all, not do you to learn know from Ye? Me. <laughs> <laughs> Where is he, though? Right? I heard Is he still missing? No, I, I heard he's out there. He's wifed up now. Hey, uh, listen, get, oh. can you guys explain what you do? Because Nikon is confused yeah, as I'm, shit I'm right now. He's like, what do you guys do? I'm waiting for you guys to be done talking so I can be like, you guys are obviously in the adult industry, right? Yep, yeah. Yep. Okay. I'm I'm like adult once reason. you started saying the girls are making 100K a month, I'm like, they're not capping. I personally know... <laughs> A handful of girls who mm-hmm. are making over two hundred bands a month. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I probably know you. I probably and, know and them they're too. Not, and they're not like they're not having sex. Right. No. They're just a lot of them are. Yep. And mm-hmm. just messaging random people. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Making, making. Where's bank. the equality there? Because I can't do that. Mm-hmm. Can you do yes, that? You, yes, you no, could. Bro, you should yeah. see my yes, feet. They're dry as hell. Yeah. Bro, right. I, I can't make no two hundred bands taking pictures of my feet. Yeah. Yes, you can. My my toes look like they're wrestling each other. Somebody go like it. Maybe you can't. Okay. Somebody's gonna like it. But yeah, there's yeah, there's there's a niche for you know somebody's gonna like it. I, I, man, I've seen some shit. And as a so. director, do you uh, do you? Um, and that's what uh, the the profession that you kind of um, are in. And did you work your way up as a director, or did you just start as a director? So check this out. I got this job off Craigslist. No mm. way. Yeah, yes. I was looking to become an actor. <laughs> went ran up on the gig side. My first my first job. Um, I was an extra in one of the films, right? So like the got, dude in the back. Huh? I was a security guard. I got knocked out by this girl's titty. Passed out. They're like hundred bucks. I was like, cool. I could do this all day. It was <laughs> no, a recession bring anyway. Them titties. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Man, bring them all. I'm a sleepy dude. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to tell you. So yeah, but I, yeah, I started off then uh, playing an extra for him, a bunch of different scenes, and then uh, shout out to my boy Ruben. He was the one that gave me the opportunity. He was just like, hey, bro, I like your work ethic. You want a job? I'm like, fuck it, I'll mm-hmm. do it, and just work my way up from there. I started off as a production assistant, made it to producer director. So. <sighs> How many people ask you to go on set with you? Oh, every everybody. It gets annoying. Right? Everybody wants. How to go would on you set. ask, like, to get you to bring you on set? Like, how would somebody have to ask? But that shouldn't that should for everybody, though, right? Do you no, like, it's, give them yeah, like, the it's, whole rundown. Like, you ain't gonna like it. Yeah, like, I'm not gonna say this shit on camera. It's bro. it's gonna it, it's gonna fuck up your whole you know um, 
it's gonna fuck up everything you you, you think about porn. You know what yeah. I'm saying? What do you mean but, by that? Uh, cause yeah, you, it's not what you think. It's, it's not, not what, what you anybody think. thinks. Yeah. ever. I run a I run a real professional setting. You know what I'm so saying? First of like, all, none of us are in the industry, so we have no idea what you're talking about. Mm-hmm. What do you mean? It's like what we think about porn. It's not like all sunshine and rainbows. It's not like just one continuous scene that just flows from beginning no, to end no, for 35 no. minutes in perfect harmony. N- no, it, it's not. Bad. Absolutely not. Okay. You know, I have some <laughs> shitty days, literally. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. And, and when you started, that's when we get the the cleanup guy. <laughs> when you started, uh, was your wife in it too, or you kind of kind of like introduced her no. to it? Or no, no, she no, no, Wait, she so wasn't. You were going to be an actor. Sorry to cut you off. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna do that a lot. No, it's fine. And you were okay with him being an actor? Well, he There's just wanted to, he wanted to be an actor. Uh, actor period. Actor. Like he was oh, like trying to go Will be Smith. an oh, actor. You know, not like in the. Adult and then industry, he got a call back for that job, and then he went, and he didn't even know it was an adult entertainment job at the beginning because they didn't advertise that on the the posting so he didn't know that until he went to the set and then he found out it was an adult film that he but like when you're an extra when you're an extra most of the time you leave before they do the actual sex and everything yeah it just depends on the script yeah that's Mm -hmm. a sucky job you leave him before everything well sometimes you don't especially if people watch it yeah especially if the guy's weird i usually get him out of there like because sometimes we book extras and stuff like that so if the guy seems like a little weird he's all in the girl's face oh can you keep pictures with you get the fuck out of here bro yeah, you gotta go. You know. I bet those guys that's like that. so strange. Oh, yeah. But have you done them all? Like, uh, like you were mentioning earlier, like all the niches, or do you kind of have like a like yeah, one type I've, that you I've like? I've done to... a lot of them. Most of them. I've done yeah. a lot of niches, man. It's like everything from, oh, I guess what, gang bangs to anal's and uh, yeah. But even like that weird stuff, like crushing and like weird like. like I haven't done crushing. Happen. I've done mm-hmm. like that crevice stuff where you got to fuck every crevice. Oh, that's strange. That's, yeah, that was what that the was fuck strange. Is for crushing. Me. Yeah, crushing is like when they just like get like a, <laughs> like they just they just smush stuff like between their fingers and yeah. their toes and they what? Just, yeah. like what? Mm-hmm. make a bunch of moany sounds. While they First do of all, it. Mm-hmm. and it's all kinds of weird only three things. people in this room knew what crushing was. Yeah. Everybody hey, else was like, bro, I'm I'm like oh, what? Jacking, jacking. I'm saying the right. Jacking. You went down Reddit too much. Peg, pegging? No, I'm not like, pegging. It's jegging. It's like this thing that guys are doing now. It's like to like extend the length. Well, hold of the, on, of guys are not doing what you're about to say. No, it was called jegging, and I looked it up to see if it was real. Yeah, yeah I, I want to ask a question oh, to them. Okay. What's so up? I'm question. obviously I'm not in this industry whatsoever. I do have some friends mm-hmm. who are in the industry. We're gonna have to ask you um, to name said friends. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just messing with you. So I lived in LA for like five six years, mm-hmm. and I moved from like house to house to house, and like randomly, bro, like you would see like, damn. There's some shit that's been shot in my crib before. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm just wondering, like, how does that work? You guys, you guys, like, what are your sets? It's like Airbnbs or like? No, what, we what usually it? we usually rent locations. Like, um, I'll A go out. And, yeah, yeah, I can. Seriously, if we can just block out all these windows, I should have yeah. seen it here definitely. Yeah. For sure. Yeah, but I usually just scout for locations. Um, meet some random guy at the bar. You got a nice crib? Hey, you want to make some money? I shoot porn. <laughs> Real quick, I want us to play that scene though. Imagine if they were to like rent this place out. What? How would you rent this? Would you be the barber though? And like somebody um, comes yeah. in, he's like, I need a haircut. Mm-hmm. Really? Yeah. I actually, yeah, I shot a, I shot a barbershop scene here. with uh, my homegirl, Luna Star. I did one with her. Mm-hmm. But yeah, I would probably, you know, I think I would, I would do something like, yeah, you come in for a little, um, for, for a cut or whatever, have some hot chick there. Like, oh, yeah, just take a little off the top, put the wet towel over your face, then boom, magically she's butt Dick naked. in the mouth. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, <laughs> when you want to do this, I like it. All right. All right. We'll plan it. I'm hey, I'm, so through. I went to Chico State. That was the craziest thing. It was uh, in uh, like 06. Bro, every episode you drop Chico State. I'm bro. repping Chico. It's the Harvard of the West. Oh, it's the Harvard of the West, bro. Come on. Right, How dare bad. you? Anyways, you so they were known. Uh, I don't know if it, I think it was one of the lower class uh, affiliations of like uh, Bang Bros. Of, of No, it was it was one they were doing. You can't dorm, say that name. I'm sorry. Today, uh, bro. They were doing it's a, the other one. Dorm Invasion was like the concept, right? So mm-hmm. they came and took over one of the fraternities. And it was like the year before. I got there so when we got when I got there the first year all the guys were talking about oh man you really missed it that one year when the they came out right so like and it wasn't on the, the internet hadn't really got to that level of like streaming where you could find like any said video mm-hmm. so like years later I was like you know what I'm gonna go google this dorm invades in Chico State and I found it and it was so sad to see like people that I knew in the scenes that had like because you know it was like these grouping with college guys so they had like a few like actors that probably could get it done, but then they grouped the whole room with like college kids that just kind of stood around. Mm-hmm. And it was, it was definitely like that, like that sense of like, you made a mistake. You didn't think you were making a mistake then, but you were making a mistake. Like yeah. that's a forever kind of, your face yeah. is there. You're, yeah, yeah. you're and, in the background forever. Mm-hmm. And that's what I tell like a lot of talent. A lot of people want to jump into the industry and I, I usually like to talk people out of it before I talk them into it. So I'm like, Hey, you know, once you put this out there, it's out there forever. Mm-hmm. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Your perpetuity. Yeah. And yeah. I wanted to ask that question actually. Um, and, 
Our so this is people. not supposed to be an interview uh, oh, that's fine. podcast, not a profession. but I guess, you know, we're like very interested in this. You guys as a couple, how do you guys get ready to go into this sort of um, industry? You know, how do you guys, like, that talk, how does it go? Hey, babe, you know, I'm going to be messing with a lot of chicks, you know, and, oh, but yeah. I'm going to get paid. I hope you like that. Yeah, He's yeah. not touching though. He's just, he's yeah. just yeah. telling them what to yeah. do. No, but, I know, I know. But, but yeah, you know, I, I did have, No, he be touching have, them sometimes, rubbing them down with oil and all <laughs> oh, type of shit. Yeah. I'm just, how you really feel. Uh, no, I'm just preparing. Though. Not really. It's a job. Yeah, it's, it's a really, job. It's really professional. Like, uh, when he first started, uh, the other guy, Ruben, he brought me on set so that I would be comfortable mm. with everything that was going on so I could see how everything works and that it's actually a professional setting. It's not mm. a fuck fest and everybody just running around acting crazy yeah, the whole time. Yeah. Everybody has that image of boogie nights in their head where everybody's <laughs> just like sucking and fucking. It's and back not, in the days, it used to be like that. That was like, back in the day. Yeah. It's not like that anymore. I went, there's some old school girls that I work with sometimes and they'll come in and be like, huh, I just want to suck your dick. Yes. Like, oh. Jeez, calm, yeah. calm down. Or when What's he used to do the uh, pickups and he used to pick all the, all the talent up from the airport and some of those girls when they got in the car like oh my god are you the talent today oh do I get to fuck you today and like oh let me suck your dick and like they're hella extra but what? I'm just not the jealous type like I'm not gonna trip about stuff like that mm -hmm. but he, he can't control what other people do yeah. but yeah, girls all are he can do like is control envious himself of each other. like they cool with you when you're like on oh, set so she like, got all the respect all the yeah, girls all, yeah, all, all, all the women in the industry respect yeah I'm cool with everybody there's really only one girl in the industry that I don't like Drop yeah, a name, she drop a name. she tried. Wow. She offered to suck my dick for five hundred bucks, right? And I was like, she was gonna, she pay, was gonna you? pay you. She, she's gonna yeah, pay me. Yeah. Um, yeah. Damn. Is that enough for like everybody or just for you though? Huh? Oh, that, that was just for me. Just, that was just, she just wanted to suck my dick for her only thing. Yeah. And so um, we, we're all at dinner, and then she's like, asks, she asks that question from everybody. I'm like, hey, what the fuck? So my yeah. director at the time, he's like, well, why don't you call his wife and ask her? And I'm like, yeah, call my wife. If she says it's cool. I'm cool with it. And then you we know? were talking on FaceTime and she didn't say anything about it, but then she still got on about it. So I was like, fuck yeah. you, bitch. Mm -hmm. so, like, so. so you know who you is. Mm -hmm. she, well, she knows who the fuck she is. We don't, like, really her. We don't like her. Nasty. We don't like her. She, uh, yeah, she yeah. avoids me at all costs. Like, like, just just in case I see her out, you know, like what's her name? So like I know to cross the street or something. Right, like correct. No, no, no. Don't, don't do it. Don't do it. So uh, how I'm going to pivot. So the Unforgettables. Mm -hmm. how, how do we come across Unforgettables? Uh, how, how did that come about? That's my crew. That's my team, my production crew. You know what I'm saying? Everybody that I'm affiliated with, everybody that helps with all, with all my productions. Mm -hmm. Shout out to Lisa, Chassie, T-Dot, uh, my wife here, of course, Isis, Amy, X, X Brian. 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 Unforgettable. Yeah, so, I like it. It's yeah. like the, that's deep. Yeah. The well, it's also, they're the, they're the, they're they're the set when you come to set. Everybody wants to work with them. Everybody mm -hmm. hears about them. And it's like, oh my God, I can't wait to get on Mellow set and go work with the Unforgettables. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. like, that's the, the thing. thing. Okay, mm -hmm. cool. I'll yeah. fuck with that. So. That's kind of what you got going on. You know, like when barbers come on here, they always want to like want to fuck with the love, right? Yeah, Correct. exactly. You got to put them on. Right. Show yeah, them the right we just have to set the bar, man. We show you the path, right? Mm -hmm. Fuck with that. Mm -hmm. Yep. There's not like one thing in life is always kind of like helping others out and like putting people on and then getting like building the right team and feeling comfortable about everyone playing their position. That's like the the everyone wants that. As a kid, I always grew up and I was like I always tell my friends like, and it was like super low mindset then, but I was like, if you get 10k and you get 10k. We'll put our 10Ks together and we'll start a business. Mm -hmm. And I know if you get some money and you get some money and us together, we're going to be powerful. And all my friends would just look at me and be like, you're stupid fool. Like, I'm gonna get <laughs> look job. at his business plan. And He's like, if you got money and you got money, we can have yeah, right. money. No, I was just wondering, like, where's his money? <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. scheme, yeah. And if That's you get money and you I'm get money. Guy. You <laughs> guys yeah. got hey, the idea is worth son. Yeah. 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 That's you know, how it came. You know what I think is fitting for this episode? Mm -hmm. The crazy barber story of the week. But you got one? Because you skipped the last one. RD got one. Remember the guy? How do you always be touching people's butts and stuff? Yeah, they, we got That's so how I greet my boys, bro. You want a job? <laughs> <laughs> uh, man, uh, you're not gonna be the one in the back though you're gonna be the one in the front you're crashing listen man i just don't have the equipment for it but i appreciate it <laughs> it's like fat joe he's, he's, he's gonna know what story i'm talking about remember the guy that we thought was gonna was trying to break into our another barber front what is he doing now no come again Remember the Wait, guy that, he, so there's a the crazy barber story. I'm going to go ahead story. and take So it. he does this every week. Right. We've only done it three weeks. He skipped last week. So he's only done it one week. So maybe we do two crazy stories. Bro. If you have them, spit them. Right. I don't think you got them. I got them. We got them for days. I just got to be careful. So let me interrupt you. Is it weird for a dude to come in and show another dude a picture of a haircut and be like, I want this haircut? No, oh, it's easy. No? Because I that, heard that's not cool for barbers. Like, I heard it, if I show you a picture of another haircut, it's like... I'm going to clear things. Of it, it is, haircut. Yeah, it's not weird when a client comes and says, hey, RD, this is the type of haircut that I want. You know, it is not weird. The problem becomes when my boy got no texture, <laughs> when my boy got 
No you know what I mean? He's showing me Zach Efron, bro. Yeah, and talking true. about, you know, I want my beard to show, be like this. And you got like three hairs here, bro. Like, that's when the problem comes. Bro, so, so then you just break him down. I feel attacked. Sosa right does that to me all the time. He goes, your hair just don't grow like that. Yeah, correct. Oh, I tell people, I'm like, dude, come on, man. Yeah. Find another picture. And I'll bro. tell Sosa, like, I want it low, like, 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 boosy, but like, like a webby, like early like webby. Boosie. But like, <laughs> like, but young, the boosy. But I want that webby face. I want that young boosy, not that bit boosy came out of prison. I want the early boosy where he had that like one inch man is looking at you like you don't look like boost <laughs> <laughs> no but I was I was you want that boost cut though yeah, I was the boost in the boost cut I'm like you don't got the texture for it yeah. what you mean bro I thought you were the best so, so I'm like Listen. I used to go to a Jose before Jose and he spelled it like the, the, the biblical way and there was no mirrors in his salon and I was the only white guy to go in there and he would just uh, they were watching Joe, Judge Joe Jackson on TV and that was the only thing anyone watched and we'd go in there and since I paid cash I just skipped the line because everyone else was like probably like trading stuff or like had homie deal and he'd be like red and he'd just slap his thing and i would sit there and just pray that he cut my hair like with a little bit of hair left because he would give me like <laughs> like the baldest fade dude he'd like shave me down to nothing and he would just be like all right go and i would like literally leave looking like the nazi member like leaving out there, like, <laughs> the blackest barbershop in the city just leaving looking like the straightest kkk guy out of there, just like yeah red's in this building and that's when i met sosa i was like i want okay don't do me like that no more and there's me <laughs> there's good lighting and that guy's not got no tvs on i fuck with it <laughs> All right, so go to your barber story. I'm sorry to interrupt. You good, right? You good? I'm fucking running. All right, listen. He just really had to get that out of his I, I, I saw He that, wants I saw to shine all the time, bro. <laughs> I saw I'm about to sit you outside. <laughs> I'll, I'll, you want to switch? <laughs> <laughs> so a little context, right? Um, one of our barber friends posted up somebody trying to break into her house, right? But Ooh. he wasn't trying to break into her house. He was just like... Was well, not off the meds, but like they live in a neighborhood where all the houses look the same, oh. right? So oh, she posted it, stuff? and then RD and myself literally text each other immediately, like, "Yo, is that this dude?" So then I hit her up. I'm like, "Oh, I know who that was." She's like, "Let me know so I can call the cops." I'm like, "Hold on, let me <laughs> let me talk to him first and see what at? he was doing." So he came in and he was like, "Oh." Yeah, it was weird because the doormat was different. I'm like, bro, how you confuse the house? But anyways, we got the whole story. Later on, he comes in and um, he's a little eccentric, right? And he comes in and he which t- he's also in the industry. That by the way. why are you ruining the story, bro? Now, you were about to say that, is. yeah. Okay, well, you finish it now. I don't want to say no more. No, because I don't know what you're gonna say. Well, the, how he told you he was in the industry. He's like, hey, I'm getting married with the girl that I just met, and. We have OnlyFans. Yeah, he kind of went like that. That's how he spit it? That's he how- wanted a subscriber? No. He wanted you to follow. He probably did, bro. But it- <laughs> He's like, I'll give you the discount code. <laughs> it was just like the the most... You can't tell who's going to be an actor, right? Because like the personality... It's not like a specific personality. Mm-hmm. But if I can pick one person that wouldn't be an actor, it would have been that guy. Right. Really? Why? Because he just physically didn't meet the, meet the build? I don't know if you physically met the bill. You have to ask RD that. Well, no, you you can tell me just off the top. Was he like not like a Zach Efron? No. Okay. But when you guys are looking for talent, what do you guys look like? Obviously, we're is it harder for, to find dudes than girls too. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Well, a lot of guys think it's easy, and it's not. You know what I'm saying? Girls are yeah. Girls are easy to come by. Guys like a really strong, a really good, like a really strong male guy? performer. Yeah. Like somebody like Johnny Sins or or you know. He's a uh, legend, man. Yeah, Johnny Sins, or, you know, uh, Johnny Castle. Who else, mm-hmm. my boy? Manuel Ferreira. Uh, Manuel Ferreira. You Wait, know, you, you, know, Blue. you know Johnny Castle? Yeah, yeah he comes yeah, here. Yeah, that's yeah. my boy. Mm-hmm. Rocco? Mm-hmm. Yeah, you're Rocco. Yeah. Yeah. I told Rocco the other day, I'm a Rocco. That's the homie. That, bro, I, we love that guy, right? Yeah, that's my spirit animal. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> For real. <laughs> that's my spirit Yo, animal. Yo, so we were, uh, I was with this girl this one time, and, you know, we were like, hey, you know, let's spice things up. And we were looking. This is legit story. And I told Rocco about crazy this. barber story of the week too. <laughs> no, so I'm like Rocco. Uh, so we started looking at some stuff, and, and you know, I personally myself that that is the only woman that I've ever kind of like. What do you mean you're looking at some stuff? And well, some websites. Oh, which websites? Why, you cutting the ones that you I'm pay? not gonna shout. The ones that you pay. Go ahead. No, you're cutting his you know, oh, you're watching oh. free, yeah. free ones online. <laughs> huh? Free yeah, videos. Watching. Watching. Yeah, free no, no, no. So. So we start watching and we found this uh, website. We start watching. We're just rolling. Oh, this one looks cool. So it was a, a lady uh, talent, woman talent. And then you can't tell who is the man, right? 
So anyways, they start doing the thing that they, the dude is going ham, bro, you know, from the back and, and all that stuff. The when they finally put the face, is my boy Rocco, bro. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I'm like, yeah. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, you my boy. <laughs> <laughs> I actually have a hard time watching porn because I know so many Same. people and it's it takes weird. away from you. It's like, because they're my friends. Right. So then it's like, uh, yeah, I'm always going for no, especially with the guy, like my guy friends. <laughs> it's it's like I can't watch anything with the guys that I know yeah, in like, the industry. It, it's, like, it's bad when you go on Pornhub, you know everybody's dick. Like, oh, that's a homie. <laughs> 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 oh, that's a bad circumcision, bro. <laughs> 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 I was like, I've never seen this guy. Oh, shit. <laughs> like, it might be the new guy. Why do you think there's so many? Why You kind of touched on something I thought was kind of key, though, the first second you said uh it's kind of it's it's harder to come by guys, but there's a lot of girls. And I'm, mm -hmm. Why do you think there's so many girls though? I always wondered that. Like, and as a guy, I was like, you know, girls. Like, I, I think it's maybe because I, when I grew up, it was more in the magazine. So you flipped the magazine, it didn't mm -hmm. seem like there was a lot of women that did it, right? Because mm -hmm. in that magazine, that one issue, there's like five women. Mm -hmm. But then the internet kind of opened that like that floodgate that just showed you that there was like hundreds of thousands of women that were like into this this kind of game. But then when you kind of watch it, you see that there's like like ten dudes. And mm -hmm. like these ten dudes like sleep with hundreds of thousands of women, yep. and like some of these women were like even Joe Grand be like, no, I only sleep with like five dudes, and mm -hmm. it's like, well, that because there's only five dudes in the industry. Yeah, right? pretty yeah. much. Yeah. So yeah, it's it's like that, man. Um, because I think it's also I think a lot of it is the um, who the girls are comfortable with, mm -hmm. uh -huh. and so uh, they're the like the guys are not as picky with who they're gonna have sex with, but the girls are a little bit more picky about it. So it's I think it's that's why it's easier for. There's just a few men and then there's a whole bunch of girls. Yeah, because there's a lot of pressure on you. You know what I'm saying? You got my big black ass behind you with my camera like this. <laughs> or up underneath now your you legs. Now you got to pop. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Go ahead yeah. and pop for me. I'm breathing down your neck. <sighs> <laughs> like, hey, you good, you, bro? Can you back up a little bit? <laughs> nah, bro. I got to get this shot. <laughs> no. You're over here about to start a fire. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Do you give yeah. those directions though? Like, hey, my man, I'm going to need you to, you know, do yeah. yeah. all over her face real quick. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I give no, all those directions. Exactly. Yeah. That's, yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I, that's I would pay to see RD on a set. You want to be an extra? I can make you can get you know, cheated there on. A, there was a movie that the South Park guys did. <laughs> that's it. Hey, that's real life. Right <laughs> that's it. And those South Park guys, uh, I, they, after they made basketball, they made a movie called Orgasmo. And my mom had a video store, and I talked about this in the last episode, but like it just came out like on like, like the screener. And I remember my mom was like, oh, this was made by the South Park guys. And it had like this, it was like this, it was basically these two Mormons, and they were on their journey as like their Mormon quest to go around and talk to these people. And then they got into the industry. Mm -hmm. And one of them becomes Orgasmo because he could just can like just keep it going or, forever. Yeah. And mm -hmm. there's a scene where there's this big lady's in there and she's like, you better make me come or I'll kick your ass. <laughs> and then it became like an inside joke between me and my homies forever. And I always like think of that. That movie's like kind of scarred me. And we were talking about that last week about how porn, it kind of had affected your life. And mm -hmm. I was like, not even going to blame porn because I, I like, I like sex workers. And I think that we should kind of like give them their, their, their flowers when they can smell them. But at the same time, like, I think we do like a disservice in other avenues of selling porn, like in, like in, like Boogie, like like you met Boogie Nights, for example, like almost mm. the same thing where you see like this stereotypical like viewpoint of it and how that shouldn't really be. And then you're like, ah, oh, man, maybe that's not really what it is. Yeah, it's not, it's not. I'm, I'm in a professional setting, man. Like um, one thing, I just want to make sure everybody's safe when they come on my set, um, protect it, make sure, you know, dot all the I's, cross the T's and uh, make sure everybody has a good time because um, a lot of these girls we work with are damaged flowers. And I've, I've, learned, I've come to realize that, you know what I'm saying? They don't come from good backgrounds. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, with, with a damaged flower, I just like to sprinkle a little water on them, make them feel yeah. good again, you know? Well, why do you think they get into the industry? Some some had no choice. Some everybody, are just really sexually active. So, you know, story. everybody has their own backstory. Some of these girls are like really uh, nymphos and like, this is this is what they do. They lay for it. Yeah. They're just all about yeah. it. And they're like, good damn, at it. I'm gonna be good you at know, this. And yeah. they're good at it, you know? And like, that's why I'm, there's a difference between like, a girl that does porn and a porn star. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. There's a lot Absolutely. of girls who are just out here doing porn, but they're not porn stars, you know? Mm -hmm. What do you think justifies the porn star? Like, what would what, what uh, like accentuate you to that level? When you you build your brand, uh, um, you take care of yourself, you you know, you like, you always come prepared to work. Um, mm -hmm. You're not fucking spilling bullshit all over the internet. You, you do your thing. Um, and you, you also build businesses on the outside of it. And these, they're, they're these... always the really professional ones too, like mm -hmm. on set. Like it's a job. Are like they, they like come, about they... like a, their business and money too? Or they have like business managers? No, the, um, just depends on the talent. But yeah, some of them have business managers. Do you see like more fa like favored one side or the other? Like do like the girls that are like the 
porn stars more hustler mentality like in their own right definitely and yes. then they just like maybe have like an accountant just to make sure the books is legit yep. and shit exactly mm-hmm. yeah like, all, all of the yeah porn stars have accountants like yeah yeah, yeah. you know they got their, their ducks in the road like um shout out to my, one of my homegirls luna she she has like a coffee shop in miami flew her, oh, her mom's shit, yeah. out some you know? other other yeah, sources of revenue sources. Mm-hmm. restaurant mm-hmm. in la yeah. diversification yeah, yeah exactly like that, so that's the smartest thing right because you can't do that forever that's mm-hmm. like one of the industries right. is like yeah. it's a finite thing it's my like, homegirl better get in and make it big when you can get in and maybe like it's a 15 minute of fame thing too yeah you exactly know, right yeah. i don't know because i was... you think milf porn is big right you milf, milf man porn. yeah milf porn is big milf porn man there's who is that one that you miss sally oh oh that's that's mature Sally yeah, D'Angelo. Yeah, she's she's ooh, she's ooh, she's old school. Look at me. Look at me. Sally. Send me a picture. Bro. Send, send me the she, link when you have out, a chance. I love, I love, I love her energy, she man. She's so she's, much she's, fun. she's an older lady, oh, all man, gray hair, but it. she can fuck with the best of them. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> oh, shit. Yo, we're gonna zoom in on that. I want to know something real quick. How do towns go about? choosing or, or their nickname is it something that hey oh you saw that little thing it's like your first animal in the street you grew up on yeah really it's, it's, <laughs> sometimes I'll, I'll just joke it out. <laughs> or like someone say hey how's it going my name is uh big dig willie or tommy salami nice to meet you so what? Uh, <laughs> yeah i mean some people you come up a lot of porn some, some people make up their own name some mm-hmm. people like their agent will give yeah. them her name or some people go by their real name mm-hmm. and you just think that it's if i were to name. be a talent what, what is RD stand why, for? But you we don't, don't even know what RD stands for. The little what engine that could. Real deal. Real, 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 real deal. deal. real deal. The, the little engine that could. Rough Dickens. Reggie Dick Long. We got My some man. And you got a voice plug to it. You got the whole intro. He just did you like a straight uh, uh, I I got a, I got a question Buffett. for you guys. Um, so obviously I can tell you guys run your shit like super professional. Mm-hmm. And that's on your side. So like Correct. you make sure you're professional, your business is professional, you're taking care of the talent or whatever. Mm-hmm. Have you ever had an instance where the talent comes in super unprofessional? Yes. And like it's just like, all right, like you got to get, get yes. the fuck out of here. Yes, that, that's happened a, a few times, man. And it's crazy because like, yeah, there's this, uh, for example, one time um, this girl wasn't picking up the phone. We get all worried and shit. So I pull around to the hotel, go pick her up. Bring her to set. She gets in all through makeup. And you could tell she's been partying all fucking night. We're right there right about to yell action. Then she's like, can we just do this tomorrow? <laughs> what? <laughs> tomorrow? Do you know how much money it costs to put this shit together? You want to just do it tomorrow? No. So, bitch, you got to go. You know, but um, yeah, there's, there's there has been different incidents. Sometimes girls come on drunk. If they're inebriated in any way, I don't want no parts of it. Right. Because anything can happen in that situation. She runs off and like, oh, I didn't want to do the scene. They made me do it. But she showed up drunk, throwing up everywhere, you know. Mm. How, so, do you, how do you deal with that, right? Because there's a... Uh, I send their ass home. Is that well, standard not, not, in the not, industry, though? Not necessarily mm-hmm. at that moment, right? But mm-hmm. like when somebody agrees to everything and somebody, you know, gets compensated or not, signs a contract, I'm pretty sure you can't be on a scene without signing all types of paper. Correct. Right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. How do you? I, I, I don't. I don't know if you feel comfortable enough for saying her name in case she wants to get back in in the industry. But how do you feel with certain like big names of people mm-hmm. talking crap about what made them famous? Porn industry. Right. Um, well, they there. There's always going to be those people. Um, they'll they'll come back and talk about the industry that made them. Just like you said. I mean, you can say her name. We all know who you're talking about. But um, ahead, I, I, I say it. I, 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 I don't know her personally. I don't know who you're talking about. I don't know her personally, but um. Mia. Oh damn! You got this vendetta. Yeah. No, I don't got a vendetta. I'm just feel like I couldn't get I couldn't get that off my chest last time. Yeah, she knows she knew exactly what she signed up for, and there's always a rundown before we shoot every scene. So for her to be like, "Oh, I was forced into doing this," and I was forced, no, you weren't forced to do shit. You You know, I mean, if they're if they're working with anyone that we work with, then that's definitely not going to be the situation. I don't know how everybody else works their sets, who else they were dealing with. So I mean, that's over there, but I know over here. You're signing papers. You're having to say on camera with two mm-hmm. forms of ID that you're here willingly choosing to do this, that you're OK with everything that's happening in mm-hmm. the script. Did you get a copy of the script? Did you get this? Like, there's no mm-hmm. wiggle room for you to say that you weren't OK with mm-hmm. doing everything yeah. that and you then did. At here the end, today. I got to sign you out. Hey, were you treated fairly? Right. And then there's anybody? a sign out at the end. That's, that's all I love. Yeah. So there's a whole process mm-hmm. yeah. of like before, start and finish, because mm-hmm. that's not commonly known. Right. You don't know that you, you're recording saying, hey, I agree to this. and. Mm-hmm. I'm treated fairly oh, and all that crazy. stuff. Yep. And, and I don't know, um, I mean, much about the industry, but 
I think that as a talent, you kind of want to see that from, you know, the production. You kind of want to see that they're these professional. Yeah, they yeah. So, sure. correct. You don't want to walk into, no girl wants to walk into a room, it's just a camera on a tripod and, and some, some dude, dude sitting there. Like, you ready? Like, but there's people, there's, <laughs> there's people out there that will make an LLC and they'll book you and mm-hmm. your agent didn't vet them well enough. And then you show up and it's that type of situation. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, I got some. You just crazy, have to be really careful. Crazy barber stories. You, you, you said that you missed. The first ones, right? I got, got like six more. If you got for more, you. then Look, give them up. These are twofold, right? So, twofold. Um, uh, this one, this one client, I cannot say his name. But you were trying to get names earlier, bro. So look, here's your name guy. Yeah, well, he's not, not gonna mess guy. up his he business was, yeah. now. Yeah. We want to say some. Yeah, yeah. Your names are yeah, your names are valid. Hey, cut his off their mics. Secret. Cut off their. <laughs> <laughs> they know no, too listen, much. This person, the reason I want to say their name is because they can buy this building and just make it a parking lot. So you know, I got a lot of money into this place. So <laughs> we're gonna play nice. But anyways, it's uh, a great song, by the way. You bought it made a parking lot. It's like a are you always interrupting, bro? I'm sorry. I feel like you're always doing that shit, bro. Yeah, you were putting me down there. You jog his memory about a lot of things, obviously. Mm-hmm. Parking lot. I feel like a lot of <laughs> anger coming from the middle chair. So, so go ahead. <laughs> crazy story of the week. Um, <clears throat> crazy barber story of the week. So we're talking about that. And, and you know, there was like, I was like, oh, imagine if somebody just like made a company and just like shot people and, and started like sleeping with girls, right? Because like it can make it look professional. It's like, oh yeah, we know this person. He has like 600 tapes, 600 girls, and I'm talking about this man rented his own, like bought a building, put a studio in it, mm-hmm. like film crew, the whole nine, and he was just banging girls and porn stars and paid them like I don't yeah. know how much a scene. But would a parent, mm-hmm. would you and he just kept all the videos. For crazy himself. story, yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Crazy story is then his wife or ex-wife, I don't know, found <laughs> the library of videos, oh, yeah. and it was just him, over, like. 600 plus videos, right? Damn, that sounds like that that movie right now. Was that movie on HBO? The show on HBO everyone's talking about? I don't have cable, bro. No, it was like that Euphoria, right? Euphoria, the dad yeah. is mm-hmm. like recording himself to yeah, all the kids like and the kid finds yeah. one of the oh, tapes with the dad. Yeah. It's like wild, you know? Yeah. Like, you, gotta, you gotta get careful when you're recording your own self. Oh, I yeah. think that you probably should just not do that if you don't want anyone to see yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Words from the wise. We remember I'm that. just saying. Yeah. You ain't trying to see it? It was good to hear No matter your you... kink or not, like shit, mm-hmm. you should just keep some kinks. Like, I mean, make it Watch it, delete it. Like, yeah. But well, we want to watch it again. What Make another one. Repeat it. Film it again. It's expensive to film that. Thing, yeah. you know? so everybody got an iPhone. Everybody got an iPhone and tripod. Okay. Yeah, but <laughs> iCloud be leaking. I don't know. Yeah, you guys seen well, the news lately? Yeah, like, like we said, you don't want it out there. The fact. Don't make it. <laughs> don't make hey, it. Hey Matt, you ready for another crazy barber story? <laughs> uh, you got say the recent one. No, say the recent one. Just last week, bro. There's a recent. Somebody knocked on the back door. Oh, <laughs> well, oh it sounds like a beginning yeah. of a point. So we got two more stories. Knocking on Crazy the back door. Crazy story of the week is RD and myself, and I'm building some stuff in the shop, right? Putting some things together. I and wasn't helping, by the way. RD, let me give you some context. If something were to happen, right, that you need somebody to be brave, RD is going the other way and fast. This man can move when he's scared, right? <laughs> got a fast car for a reason. So I'm in that, the, the, <laughs> the super private room in the back, and... uh we hear boom, boom, boom on the door, right? So I'm like, man, RD's here. I've been talking all this crap about being brave. I gotta go see who it is, man. I can't, I can't talk my way out of it. I'm expecting RD to be in the front calling the cops, right? This is what I'm expecting RD to do. So of course, you know, hey man, I grew up, you know, not so privileged. So I go to the door. Who is it? Right, and then, bro, Jose's I, behind the door, like, who is it? Who is it? Right, uh, I'm, I'm ready. I'm ready to. Hey, I don't know what's going on, but I already talked so much shit to RD that I have to. I have to open the door. Mm-hmm. I would not hear the end of it, especially in this barbershop, right? Where was I? Where was I it? look back. Hiding. RD was right behind me. That's right. I thought I, I was dead. Back. I thought I was an outer body experience, and I thought the guy came and killed me, and I'm looking at my body, and RD came to like, oh, my God, he's dead. I didn't know Beaky it was in the pockets. moment, and it was a, a FedEx guy delivering. Well, I was just about to say, it's a mailman. <laughs> yeah. right? dude, but it was in the back door. I was like, dude. There's a front door. And he goes, oh, yeah, but this is easier. And I'm like, but why would you bang like that? He's like, how are you going to hear me? And I was like, you almost got shot. And I'm like, he's like, in this neighborhood? And I'm like, right, Good point. Man. Good point. Hey, man, you, cal- you thought about this, yeah, man. Yeah. He's calculating. Just to, yeah, he wouldn't have done that on the east just side. Just to put it right? out there. You know when you go and like turn and do that heel knock? Like, bang, bang, right. yeah. bang. I just, everything I knew about RD got flipped upside down. Just to put it out there, Jose, I was very scared when I was behind you, bro. All right. And if there was a man trying to do something to us, 
I was just going to push, push you. Like, and then I was, run. You know, I'm just, just, just here to die with you. <laughs> You're going to go first, though. Hey, but it means a lot that he was right there. I, I mm-hmm. honestly expected RD to be outside. So, so you're going to get a peephole put in or what? No, we got a camera there. In hindsight, I should have oh, just looked yeah. at the camera <laughs> next time. Yeah. But it was, you know, in, in the moment, yeah. loud bangs. I had to Never protect the castle. Well, absolutely. Yes, you should. Yes, you should. Are you guys ready for another crazy barber story? <laughs> I, I want to know if there's any news, bro. I actually have some. You got some news? Let's talk some news. Yeah, Uh-oh. I need one of those handbags, bro. <laughs> Anyways, did you guys know that uh, NASA found another world Two. just like Earth? Yep, yep. It's I heard about Ke- that. Kepler, mm-hmm. Kepler, and it's mm-hmm. about 100 light years away from here. Mm-hmm. But it's kind of like very similar to Earth. But you can't get to 100 light years. It's fucking far, 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 How do far, they far find right? that? Where I barely can go to. The, the yeah. telescopes that they have, yeah. they're to powerful enough to see. Away? Yeah, they can yeah. see but that far But we can't away. take a picture of Pluto. <laughs> that's, that's out there. Pluto's, Pluto's but yeah, my that, right? my yeah, iPhone no, barely Pluto, has. They do have yeah, pictures. We, I think we not Pluto off our fucking solar system. Yeah, yeah. So. it goes on and off. Like I don't yeah. know what it's doing there. Every Tuesday, Pluto comes. How, come how back. can we see a hundred light years away, and my phone battery don't last all day, or I don't have reception in certain buildings? Yeah, questions. Your, your phone battery can last. Those all are day, completely so different they don't, they don't sciences. Want to have mm-hmm. Like. Yeah, all that there stuff, you go, bro. defending big tech, bro. <laughs> I mean, I got it, bro. Everyone, everyone hates on tech, on like the big tech companies and stuff. This is random, but they all hate on the big tech companies. But none of us would be doing what we're doing if we didn't have absolutely phones or computers. We wouldn't even be stuff, making so. this podcast people, right now. A lot of people don't realize yeah. that big this is organic. A lot of people don't realize that big jump in technology that happened. Like first, it, it was, was like crazy. you were on this, uh, you were on the phone. You're like, we ain't ringing shit no, up, and then all of a sudden, you can be like, shit. boom, you can send some shit across the. Across the U.S. or across the world, Bro, I don't know where people were using robbers. maps to get around. Yeah, like, exactly. You go to the gas station and, then, and buy yeah, a damn map. I keep I keep a map like, in, you know in my how, head just in case shit goes. Everything goes yes. to shit. I keep a map in my fucking dashboard. Like the in worst my part drives. of my childhood was giving my dad directions off MapQuest. Oh. That was yeah, Dude, I know that was tough. Turn by turn, I had 17 pages. Mm-hmm. Yeah, man, you yeah. have to print it out. You yeah, have to print yeah. out the directions to yeah. take it with you. But now you just mm. got this. Remember all the cool stories though when you got lost? Like you don't get lost no more. Yeah. You can't oh, get lost. Uh, and dad, uh, and dads uh, never uh, want to ask for directions. Service, now you're lost. It's yeah. impossible to get lost. I have Siri telling me where to go, and I still Miss that exit. Bro. Well, you miss the exit. But you're not just like, remember, you used to get lost where you had to read the map and be like, yeah. how the fuck did I get out yeah. of here? And, and, like, and your dad's always like, oh, I know where I'm going. I know where I'm going. Yeah, we yeah. just go keep north. Keep just, north. Just, just, you're like, where is north anymore? I don't even know. Do, do you think life on those planets is more advanced than ours? On oh. what planets? The ones that on are. Kepler? Yeah. Who knows? They were talking like the other day about like multiple dimensions and shit. Maybe that's just the fucking well, first that's dimension. Spider Man. Well, hey, listen, listen. I know we're not alone. <laughs> that's I know, I know, bro. I know for sure we're not alone. Me and Wifey seen a UFO. You know sure did. Oh, we want to hear the story. We want to hear the story. On his twentieth birthday. Oh, yeah. 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 birthday, we was out in the desert uh, in his sorry, car. First of all, were you sober? On the pages. yes, we were sober. Right, so check this out. I, I, got, I got the we story. I got this. Everybody asked that. I got this. Just back me up. Yeah, I got you. So it's my thirtieth birthday. I mean, twentieth birthday. Shit, we're fucked up already. So it's twentieth birthday. Right, and uh, we uh, we out there off Nevada State Drive over there by the college, you know, out there doing the boom shakalaka in the, in the desert, mm-hmm. you know, mm-hmm. trying to get my little birthday, you know, sand boogie down. That's right, just so right. uh, we get done. I'm in the, we in the back of the regal, and I'm looking out at the city and shit, and we see these lights coming at us, and I'm like, man, what the fuck is that? We both thought we were tripping at first, yeah. but then he was like, Do you see that? And I was, I was like, like, Hell yeah, you see that shit too? I'm like, what the fuck is that? So this thing is beautiful though. It's like it's green, it's green it's blue, colors, orange, yeah. purple, like these beautiful lights. But then you saw it; it was here. Then it was here. And but it you didn't getting, see you never the saw you didn't move, see the though. movement in between. It was just like it was here, and then it was there, and it just kept getting closer to us. So, so this motherfucker get about two hundred yards out, right? And we looking at this thing, and it's low. It's about like two light poles high in the sky. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, what the fuck is that? Like and it's, I'm like I'm just tripping because it's pretty and you can see it it's like a perfect saucer but it's spinning all mm. of a sudden it stops spinning it's a fucking perfect triangle and it was like going right it over flew the car right over my car five miles per hour scared the this shit out of me this motherfucker though right white as fuck like this looking at it. I wasn't going to get out the car. I was already butt naked. So what I'm thinking in my head, I, what I'm thinking in my head, I'm already butt naked. Hit the gas. I'm already butt naked. They're going to get straight to business. I watch fire in the sky. I'm not Man. trying to get probed. I want a little struggle if you're going to get me, right? If you don't hit the motherfucking gas right now. So I'm looking now. up under this motherfucker like, and it's flying over my car five miles per hour. And, and I'm screaming in the back white, seat. Go! Three white pulsating t- uh, three po- white pulsating lights on each tip. And it looked like veins were carved in and it had like a little circle in the middle. And I'm like, what the fuck is that? Because I can't hear nothing. It this, was completely it was, silent. And I'm like, what the fuck is this? Like, when you when your brain sees something like that, it's kind of hard for you to fathom because it just defies everything that, that we know. Was it big? 
It was, huge. it was like the same size as Luxor. Flying in the sky. It looked like oh, the Luxor was yeah. flying it's in the humongous. sky. Humongous. Humongous. Scared the shit out of me, bro. I ain't never. We didn't get no sleep. We both didn't get no sleep. Over you guys, like was it like it was? It was. It was nighttime. It was. It was nighttime. It's the same. It's the same color as the sky. Was there just like as a nighttime outside? So the only yeah. ambient light was by it. Growing, it was just, growing, it, and it then we're just, out in the desert. Like there was like no street lights or anything. Yeah, we were at nothing. it was just so that shit. And that shit only. Yeah, and I was just like, and it like yeah. had a little. Even fog right now, my heart it. is like beating fast thinking about that oh, shit. Yeah. That shit I got a battery. I hopped in the front seat, butt naked. <laughs> See, I just I don't understand how people don't believe in that shit. Like I have I have never experienced it, and mm-hmm. I always say I, like I need to see it to believe it type thing. You don't want to see that shit, and like. Yeah, I mean, I feel like right now, me telling, I do want to see it, Mm -hmm. but Mm -hmm. from experience, I guess not. But that's how they got inspired to film the movie Alien Slut. (laughs) 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 Anal aliens. Oh, shit. (laughs) These asses out of this world. I I asked them in the first question, like, do you believe in ghosts and you believe in aliens? I feel like there's always like this contradiction of like, sometimes you believe in one, but you don't believe in the other. I feel like if you got to believe in both, you know, you got to fuck with both like the the, Mm -hmm. the, the supernatural and the undead or whatever it may be. Definitely. And I always think that we can't be the only people here. Hell no. Mm -hmm. We can't. They just found life. They just found two planets. But you know what's crazy? There is a lot of people that just just can't fathom that. Like, Mm -hmm. they think we are the only. You know, the only, only, only smart being civilization in this big ever. ass vast universe. You know what I'm saying? And are, really, just, that's, that's, that's our part really. of the universe and where we're at, like we're the newest part. Mm-hmm. So all these other plants that have been there for millions and millions of years before us, you think that there's nothing else out there, that there's no one else that's more advanced than us. I mean, they've already admitted that there's unidentified flying objects yeah, all the, the fucking time that they have they like. no idea what they are. And they've been around for years. There's shit coming in and out the water, in and out of our atmosphere all the fucking time. They have no idea what it is. And it's technology that we do not have. Well, they could so, be here and we may not know. That, like a yeah. weird, weird <laughs> fact, just because you know, I like to throw out weird facts. So you know the World Fair? You said those World Fairs back in like the 1800s all the way to like 1930 something. It's like when the World Fair kind of stopped. Mm-hmm. Well, there's like a theory behind the World Fair is that the World Fair used to be built and they used to like, you can Google pictures of World Fairs from like the specific ones like 18... 18- 69 like chicago world fair that was they, the big one right they yeah. built like all this crazy like sculptures and like buildings and like mass stuff like you would, would imagine like it take a whole culture and civilization to build this stuff and they build it like on a whim and then they would tell people that they built it out of plaster paris and they would destroy it afterwards and they'd like have these crazy fires or just some kind of natural disaster would happen and it would destroy the whole thing and they, they there's a concept behind this is that they think that all these cultures lived beforehand and the world fair was going around demolishing them all so that when we were the, the new culture didn't know that any of this existed mm-hmm. beforehand mm-hmm. we were just watching something the other night that said that we're the sixth um like s- smart like uh like generation on our planet like we've been wiped yeah. out five other the times yeah mm-hmm. no like there's been five other civilizations that have got like to mm-hmm. this and part. then like got yeah. to this point like where we're at now and then they got wiped out and then the planet resets yeah. and like starts and all over like again the planet is resetting what i really liked about the pandemic <laughs> is watching watching the earth reset like watching like life wasn't come that back. crazy yeah, yo i've I, never I, heard that yeah. i like that you know what i'm saying yeah, the and, like, air I, think, was I think i think i think everything the world needs to take a whole month yeah, off you know what i'm saying like out of 12 months out of 12 months if like everybody just took a whole month off like not doing nothing not driving not doing shit like I think the, the the world needs that, like you know what I'm saying. But there's a theory though where the world, you know, it's a it's a living it's a living yeah, world. Yeah, right? it's a living organism. So, yeah. at, and I was gonna go there. You know how, for example, us as human beings, whenever we feel sick, our own body starts like releasing uh, the viruses and whatever, whether it's sneezing, coughing, it's mm-hmm. it's just a way for a virus. To, I mean, for a body to kind of like release all of that. So there's a theory where it says that because the world is a living world. Right, we happen to be the virus. Mm-hmm. Yeah, absolutely. So when the world is sort of like the pandemic, mm-hmm. or when we have these um, uh, earthquakes and all, and all this, you know, mm-hmm. this uh, stuff in the world, it's because the world is saying like, "Yo, mm-hmm. yeah, y'all, just yeah like, I got, like, I got, I just." Either yeah. of you like vegans or anything? Do we inter- do what? Vegan? No. Am I, are we vegan? No. Yeah. No. No. no we tried that. We shit. had a vegan over here, and I was going to ask. I was hoping he's going to be on the pod today because I really wanted to pick his brain on. Uh, I heard vegetables, you know, might be like eat, attacking us, like you know, because like people mechanisms. think, yeah, defense mechanisms and in, in, in plants because mm-hmm. some plants can change their flavors and their scent profiles. So like deers don't eat them, mm-hmm. and like people eat them, and we think that they're always nutritious and helpful, and we should eat all the greens you can get your hands on, but. Technically, maybe there's maybe some science to the, prove the, that. No, that's- there's, there's a whole science behind it where 
from this science, right? You're only supposed to eat off a plant the fruit. So anything that a plant is hiding, they don't want you to eat. So, for example, potatoes are hidden in the ground, right? Mm -hmm. But like strawberries, apples, stuff like that, you should eat because that's how you repollinate, right? So Mm -hmm. that's what what he's saying. There's actually a real big community of science behind that, that the plants that are defensive are the ones that don't want you to eat the, the... you know their their treasure, right? Mm-hmm. So that's kind of like crazy when you crush to think about. Really, and you get like the bubble guts. Imagine, imagine, it, imagine if, the, if the world. Was what kind like, of vegetable are you talking about that doesn't want to be seen though? Like a so, potato. Potato. Yeah, but potatoes have been around and have been eaten for. But our ever. science hasn't been but as like, good it as was, it is but now. The gluten allergies and stuff is mostly potato yeah. related, right? And, and from like yeah, uh, no, I'm not. I'm not grains. disagreeing with that. So, I, just, I just personally think like, I feel like your body is so capable of fighting something like that's. Something that's like not really toxic to you. I mean, we, I guess I don't know if it is or not, but mm-hmm. a potato, like, I don't really think there's anything wrong with a potato. Yeah, I know. But have you ever like heard about the carnivore diet? And, like, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Just only eat meat and they all yeah. like, crazy like uh, yeah. changes in their I, I heard this one things. girl told me she was on an air diet. She went to some fucking. <laughs> Did you say air diet? Yeah. <laughs> I, and, I asked her, and I asked her, I'm like, yo, uh, what do you want for lunch today? You know what I'm saying? I'm like, like, oh, no, I'm on air diet. <gasps> <laughs> no. You're lying. You're lying. What? I'm dead ass serious. She would pay, pay to five thousand dollars. She was on an air diet. Paid, paid five thousand dollars. Went to, to a on, whole a retreat, retreat <laughs> on how to eat off to air. learn how to eat air. I said, "You got me fucked up. I'm not putting five thousand dollars. <laughs> five thousand dollars to learn how to eat air." <laughs> Well, that was good. You want something? <laughs> that was someone you work with? Yeah. I probably wouldn't work with her anymore. <laughs> I, I don't. I, I, that's a sign. I don't think I you ever worked with her again. I, like I, I don't. I don't think you ever did work no, with her again. Eric died. We all looked at each other I, like, is this bitch serious? He I had do. to call me. Usually he'll tell me stuff when he gets home. He called me. He said, bitch, this bitch is over is here eating air. Tell, tell her that you just said to me. She over here eating air. I don't have no talent. I'm just going to fuck the air now. For real. I get paid off air. Yeah. I'm like, wow. Well, must be nice. I heard it all. Me and my baby. Yeah. I can't <laughs> wait to tell my clients that. Yeah, hey, air, can, have you ate air before? Yeah. You get home, your kid <laughs> says, "Daddy, I'm hungry." He's like, "Eat that air." Girl. I'm just, I'm just wondering who this like, guy is with this retreat. I was like, maybe my mom was though. real when she said she was making air pies for yeah. me. You know, I'm, I'm just thinking about this guy who's running this retreat. He's, he's like, "Oh genius. man, I'm just running yeah. to the back." He's in there eating <laughs> sandwiches in the back, like, "Oh yeah, oh, he's Sally Strong's in the fuck out of those." He's practice. I was like, send this money for these these poor hungry kids who are there eating as much as they can. For real, I was like, "Bro, what's up with this subway rapper?" Man, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, like, diabetic yeah. and shit. He's like, I got insulin, dog. The motherfucker's dying in his camps. Just, just, just breathe in. There you go. Yeah. He's like, oh, now ask your family to send you 20 pounds of food and put it in the safe. All right. And you walk away from the safe. Man. I'm trying to tell you, man. It's I always like the heavyweights. I wouldn't go to one of those, like, uh, you know, jazzercise, like, classes or camps. See what that really is like. If they're really kind of like, Stressing people out, like give me all the food, or people are sneaking it in and shit. You know? Oh, you talking about a fat camp? Yeah. Like if people <laughs> are really on that, like heavyweights. You, you know, yes. fat movie? camp. We can't use that word. Oh, fat. big heavy, camp. Heavy you just dropped the F word, bro. Heavy, it was heavy a, said camp. We can't big use bonded camp. <laughs> I want to get percussized. Yeah. <laughs> scaly, yep. scaly challenge. Uh, uh, the healthy camp. Scale challenge. Yeah. No, but I always talk to Lalo about uh, his life lifestyle, and I tell him that I admire him for the discipline behind the whole thing and i think that once you create that discipline discipline. right Mm -hmm. afterwards it's like very normal like lalo has introduced us the other day his uh, fiance brought a vegan pozole and i'm like bro there's no way you're going to tell me that there's such a thing as a vegan pozole. He's a like, yeah, bro. A lot of vegan food is really good. Right. Yeah, so so I'm like, bro, you they, how are you going to fake the meat? And he starts telling me what they do and stuff like that. So we tried it. And it was so light on my body, though, that I'm like, okay, I can see the benefits of this. Mm-hmm. Unfortunately for me, like I can definitely try vegan food. And I'm like, yeah, this I admire the art behind it. But I'm like, bro. So let, let me tell you this, it's right? Like give, give and go, right? Because a lot of the food is good, but a lot of the food is bad for you, right? Like men shouldn't eat soy, right? Like that's really? actually bad for, for men. Wait, men, have a period. fact check? Damn. Hey, wait, we could no, talk no, about it today. No, but no, it's facts though. In I could, they, yeah. they redesigned the whole soy. Or like, have you ever seen like, for example, um, Joe Rogan, I'm a big Joe Rogan fan, right? So he, mm-hmm. he's a carnivore diet, right? So he says when um, like a... Say an animal gets to a, into a pasture, right? Like they'll they'll murder the animal or kill the animal, right? So it doesn't hurt harm the fields. But when something gets into like a tofu pasture, they were talking about like everything gets killed. 
Like it gets mm-hmm. shot oh, with, with okay, genocide, okay. like with, with, mm-hmm. not genocide, but like a lot of toxins and a lot of stuff to make sure that nothing else grows on there. It's almost like Teslas, right? Teslas are like safer mm-hmm. or healthier for the environment to drive, but nobody really looks at what it costs to take the actual lithium out of the earth. Because mm-hmm. when you do that, you can't use the earth anymore for like a hundred years. I'm waiting to see what, like what they're going to do with Tesla batteries. Like, where are you going to stash these mm. bitches out? Yeah, what are they doing? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. they got a big ass mountain in Nevada. Do they stack a bunch of shit? Yeah, in no, they, yeah, but that's just already full of uh, nuclear shit, man. Oh, yes. Yeah, so we can't fill it up with yeah, no more shit? No. Fuck. Yeah, yeah remember there. back in the day they had like rocket fuel in the water out here? I don't even drink tap water out yeah. here. Mm-mm. Yeah, blast nah. off. I like. I don't even. I'm pretty sure they don't got a. I got. I don't even got a soft water filter. I'm just getting it on. It's, it's all good. Like, hey man, it's gonna make you tougher in the yeah. end. You know I'm what I'm saying? Like, I'm gonna be like Mr. Manhattan. I'm just gonna turn blue and just. just yeah. I think ready to go. <laughs> yeah. I think my only question, right, like with with all this stuff, is like religion. Who do you believe? Whoa. Like v- veganism, carnivore, right? There's legitimate arguments on both sides, right? Mm-hmm. I, I'm trying to like be the most objective same thing with religion how do you know like that's the religion that's going to give you the promise i have that question all the time too it's like how do you know i I want i want to add to that in a little bit i uh i believe in god i grew up i I, I grew up uh christian right and i was telling lalo the other day okay I, i was telling lalo the other day i was like bro it's crazy because at the end of the day i think that it says that um there's a story that i love and it's about this young kid where uh, he was going to go in front of the 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 king in, in the town, I think. And, and I'm just fast. I'm just going to say it fast. But anyways, it says that the king has said that they were looking for uh, the wisest, the strongest, the, you know, for that person to be part of the kingdom of the royal palace. Anyways, so the king sends food to them and they say they say one of the servants, have them eat, eat like kings and they have meat and all that. But he says that one of the three guys, he went in a whole vegan diet. And after for 10 days, he just was eating vegan. And afterwards, there were no wisest or better looking than that guy. You know, so I, I think that it, at the end of the day, it, it's just like a, a mindset thing, right? Like if you really want to take your, your, your life or your body or to the next level, it really starts with us. You know what I think? You, you, right, you know what 100%. I think? Though, like to be honest, we're all fucked. You know, you can try <laughs> to do all your vegan shit. You can do your carnivore shit. Mm-hmm. I mean, but we're still all controlled by the government. Except like unless you exactly. unless you unless you growing your own fruits and vegetables. Even they, they make off, the seeds off, still. Living off the land, like we were supposed still. to do in the beginning. Or you know what I'm saying? Like I saw I saw some fact where uh, and like I I've been I st- like ever since I started training, which was like almost four or five months ago mm-hmm. um going back to what you said it really is just per, like personal choice and just like so you got to see how you feel and whatever mm-hmm. um i cut out red meat i haven't had and like i was a, the biggest steak dude mm-hmm. like yep. and now and anytime i eat it i realize it makes me feel a little like tired well, yeah it makes me like lazy in the morning when i wake up so i cut it out and i saw a big change i'm like oh damn that's and then up. i tried to do it with chicken i was like oh, i don't feel a difference so i'm gonna mm-hmm. just keep eating chicken or whatever yeah, facts. that's the only thing i don't eat now is red meat but going back to what you said i saw some fact i'm pretty sure it was like 75 percent of apples in in markets are just grown in labs now yeah mm-hmm. it's, it's crazy too. Every, like yeah, if you take they don't have to tell us if, if, if uh, our meat's cloned anymore yeah. you know what i'm saying yeah. did you see this in japan there's actually a company that are uh printing meat no, I heard yeah, it. Yes, yeah, I did say that. Oh, yeah, my God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've, I've actually tried it. You tried some 3D yeah, meat? I tried 3D meat, yeah. How was it, bro? Be it's not good. I'm going to be honest. It's not It's not good. But it's Texture. not like... It's like if everything goes to shit and we're in an apocalypse or something, like, you'll, you'd eat it. Yeah. If we're in an apocalypse, bro, we have no energy to, to use those machines. For <laughs> to really, Speaking bro. of shit, right, like, the craziest advice that kind of, like, made the most sense about, like, what you're eating was... How much do you shit? So, like, if you go to mm-hmm. the toilet a lot, right? Like, when you when you go to number two and there's a lot coming out or you come in often, that means mm-hmm. that your body's, that's waste. Mm-hmm. So, like, mm-hmm. everything you ate, your body's like, nah, this yep. is too much. Let me take it out. Do you got floaters? Do you have sinkers? Correct. You know what I'm but saying? But if you're mm-hmm. not, like, number twoing a lot, that means that your body's absorbing all the nutrients. So, oh, I was bro. like, that's kind of crazy. Like, your body would but tell you. But you're still you, supposed to go twice a day at least. Three. I go, like, twice. bro. 
I don't. Like four or five a day. I don't. At least. And somebody told me this the other day. Yeah, that's not good. That, that Somebody said that the other day because I'm like, bro, for me, I go like once every two days. Oh, no. man. You bucked oh. up, bro. Yes. You need to get some I'm fiber. Sick. You need yeah, to you you get the whole I've been sure. drinking. Really? Bro, I've been yeah. drinking. My girlfriend would think that was crazy for only shit once a day. She's like, what is wrong with you? And I'm just like, I don't know. Yeah. I always thought I was had IBS or some shit. I always thought I was like a little more on like the the unhealthier side because of how much crazy and I and the thing I, th I think is I drink a lot of caffeine a lot of like uh, espresso mm -hmm. so that all really kind of jams up my stomach anyways and then like on the weekends I'm heavy drinking the vodka so <laughs> those two don't really flow well mm -hmm. and I smoke a, like a great ton of marijuana so like you know I go through like these these like ebbs and flows in my eating patterns and I feel like a I always thought it was just like IBS or just like irritable bowel or something that happened with what I was eating. But, mm -hmm. and the more I think it is like, I, I've never really, I have been ever like a heavy set kind of guy or ever had like a, a, a um, a tire around Why my waist. Why are you looking at me, bro? Why are you looking at me, bro? Yeah. Yeah. Saying, bro. You, you know what? Some, 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 some people like, find this attractive. Right? 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 You, know, you know the tire. You're right? looking yeah. right at the camera. You were looking right at me, bro. There is an indigenous tribe. The, the, the bigger the the bigger the belly, yeah. the more attractive the man is. Yeah, tell you. The I am attractive. Some hey, baller belly. Yeah, I've ever was seen a, Buddha. Was a, was a giant. Yeah, Buddha. look at him. He happy. Yeah, yeah, big baller to... belly. That he get money on him all Buddha the time. Though. If you read the Buddha book, Buddha like there's a whole portion where he's he becoming the Buddha. Buddha. And he only ate one grain of rice a day. Listen, we got somebody from the audience that wants to fact check oh, us. We got fact check. Oh, we got a bunch of things man, she's that got her we own podcast said. Now. She can't yeah, jump she, it on our podcast. Hey, man, she, she's looking at me like, you put her me on here. She's on that so we got an audience member. She's not close enough to from the mic, women though. with mics. She going to go, she going, hey, I just, the views of what happened on this podcast are of RD. <laughs> <laughs> we blame RD. Hey, wait, 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 wait. Before you talk, let us get ready. This is oh going to sting a little bit. All right, go. All Hi, right. guys. I'm Alexis. How are you doing? Nice Hi, to meet you. Um, so, yes, I'm a vegan. I've been vegan for about five years. I don't think everyone needs to be vegan. Like, I'm not a hardcore person like that. Like, you can cut meat in front of me and, like, cook it. And, like, I don't care. I, I don't get grossed out by it. But that's the biggest thing that everybody thinks that vegan meats are just full of soy. But there's a lot of people that not everybody that's vegan just chose to be vegan. There's a lot of people that just have, like, dietary issues mm -hmm. so there's a lot of people that are allergic to soy a lot of people that are allergic to wheat and that's another thing if something's not made out of soy they think it's just made out of wheat and then but there's there's other things that you can make out of it there's jackfruit there's i got a question for that. you though yeah because uh i'll be talking to my wife about this uh you ever met a fat vegan yes <laughs> okay uh, <laughs> Don't because, you dare. Don't do it. Don't do it. We got somebody that we involved with, right? And she's been vegan for a long time, right? But I mean, she, she got to be eating in her sleep because I haven't seen she any getting bigger. progress. <laughs> it's like she keep getting bigger. Okay. But but it's veganism. Yeah. But but I'm like, is you eating like what? I mean, vegan, what are you eating? Like uh, French fries every day? Yeah, it's that, fried tofu. You know, it's all yeah. fried tofu. Yeah. Everything that's vegan is not healthy. Right. So you yeah. also have to check everything. Right, Even, like, right. Vegan you, or not, you have to check it. But when her big ass comes, well. <laughs> no, not now. I'm not say nothing. <laughs> See, over here, like, don't say shit. Man. My version of that. Like her anyway, when that big ass bitch come over to the cookout and shit. <laughs> And we'd be like, oh, I can't eat anything here. Oh, but she don't eat shit. And I'd be like, why'd you even fucking come? come? Yeah. Oh, or vegan. bring your bring your own fucking dish to any old yeah. lazy ass yeah, bitch. Bring some broccoli. Yeah, yeah. 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 exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Shit. I'm just saying, like, you gonna complain about all the food I got here, but you didn't bring a goddamn thing up in this bitch. No, damn well your big ass hungry. No, damn well <laughs> Yo. your big ass is hungry. Is but, here. but I will say this though. I will say this. You know when when you go to a restaurant and you get your food wrong, you kind of like get a little bit upset, right? Yeah. Do you send mm -hmm. it back? Uh, I mean, bro, nah. I, you you've been there, bro. If, you don't uh, say hey, this is not what I order in school. Just if there's a difference of price, just fix it. You know, if not, whatever. But when a person that's vegan gets his food wrong, let me tell you. <laughs> yeah, I get pissed. <laughs> let me tell. And I presence that the other day we went to uh, where were we? Uh, we were playing pool. Remember? With uh, we went to play pool. Oh yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Alexis yeah. looked for everything she could eat, and she's like, "This is the only thing I could eat." Right? It's just. This salad, remove the bacon and the cheese or whatever. Mm -hmm. Homegirl got the salad wrong three times. Bro. Three times. She was pissed. Okay. And I'm over I'll there in the back with salad. And I'm over there in the back with my pizza. You're like, 
It's about to get down, though. You know, she, she, she pissed off right now. I wouldn't even. I wouldn't. Yeah, if if I had to send it back a second time, I wouldn't even eat it. Because at that point, I would have been like, it. Yeah, with even him. He did it. I'll eat it. You're cleaning the floor with this lettuce. Yeah, I don't trust yeah. people like that. You do yeah. I what mean, if, you know, if you accidentally put the cheese, it's whatever. I, it, you know, just send it back, whatever. But it's if it's multiple times and on a freaking salad, are you kidding me? And it's like, well, bitch, you obviously can't hear because I done told you. Yeah. And every time she came, every time I corrected her, she's like, oh, sorry, the kitchen. Every <laughs> time. Hey, can I get your phone number so I can send you all the nutrition Alexis facts? Alexis was pissed, bro. Vano looked like, like, what's wrong with your ears? Now, I had a friend. The mic cheese were hitting. How uh, is this your profession? I had a friend once. He got bit by a deer tick. And in, they lost in the Texas, pool. And a deer tick gave him alpha gal. And I don't know if you're alpha gal. What? It's a, it becomes, it's like a, it's kind of like, a, so a lot of ticks contain like a Lyme disease, but this certain tick, and in, in especially in Texas, it's, it's a certain type of deer tick and it has alpha gal, it makes you allergic to um, protein. So red meats and anything that makes you actually like physically ill to eating protein. So my friend like forcibly be, had to become a vegan like not willingly, like actually because yeah. he had to like, and then That's I was like crazy. asking him, I was like, so bro, like when you eat the meat, like what's, what's it do? And he goes, I feel really like lethargic, like really sick and tired. And I'm like, I gotta cross Texas off the list now. Yeah, yeah, yeah like, me bro. too. Oh, fuck Texas. Yeah, yeah, ticks in Texas. Watch out for the ticks in Texas. Yeah. 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 So, so I Is mean, that a not, deal? not everybody <laughs> does it by choice, just to your example, you know? Yeah. So you can never know. If, like, just pick, pick them off, babe. Just pick it off. And I had another, I had a boss that had, uh, she had Crohn's disease, so she could only Man, eat certain things. Like, close this out, bro. It's already an hour. Oh, shit, bro. Okay, yeah. go ahead. Never mind. Fuck my story. How do we end it Fuck out? me, dog. I thought yeah. we were just oh, going to take a, a break. Yeah, no. We'll finish it up. Yo, yeah. we've been having a question. Well, from the last podcast and before we close it out. Um, first of all, it's been a pleasure having you guys here. Yeah. Well, thank Thanks, you, guys. guys. Um, it's all love. With the love. For real, the best. It's all love. You guys, like, like that's why we, we, we love bringing people here so they can explain the industry right because there's a lot more and the last last podcast and maybe you guys can whenever you guys have a chance check it out uh we were talking about rate subscribe and for the love (laughs) we were talking about that there is such a thing as porn addiction Mm -hmm. right um do you guys do you guys believe in that what's your comment on on, on that Um, how do you i've never seen it never dealt with it i'm not addicted to porn uh there is i mean the, the, it, there is people that suffer from it. I, I've seen reports on it, but I'm not one to speak. I'm just one to uh, produce. It's good you know? for him. Mm-hmm. That's like I mean, a cokehead. Like he yeah, likes cokeheads. Like, hey, yeah, because that's what he's no, selling. That, I sell okay. digital dope now. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So he needs a porn head. Yeah, I mean, but I'm, if, if it affects you, if, anything too much of anything can affect your life. Well, you I mean, know what I'm saying? A, you can be addicted to anything. There's people that are addicted to hand sanitizer. Yeah, I mean, you know. Right now, so you know? I mean, if you're yanking off, you ain't hurting nobody. In your professional opinion. Watching porn helps or hurts a relationship? Helps. Mm, it depends on the couple, I think. Mm-hmm. I, well, it really expanded our sex life. Um, we never were really, we didn't really watch porn like that even before you start working in the industry. But we thought, I came I home with some tricks though. I was like, let me hit you was, with this up. I thought over. it was going to make our sex life worse because I didn't think it was going to make it better because I thought it would like, he would be desensitized to sex and it really wouldn't even be that exciting anymore, but it was completely opposite. She gets a kick like, we, you know, we play sometimes, but we ain't really mm-hmm. played it. Clearly, bro, you were just at the desert. Uh, you know? Yeah, we play sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> it's, just, <laughs> it's just like, everybody has a little niche. Like, she likes watching me fuck other chicks. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I don't want to see her fuck other, girl, uh, other dudes or anything, mm-hmm. but she gets mm-hmm. a kick out of that, though. Oh, Look at are, you, are you, are you, um, I'm uh, gonna shut up. Uh, uh, <laughs> Go <laughs> did it out. So, so, we're not, so yeah, I'm thank like, you guys uh, for watching. <laughs> so we're gonna close it on that one. Yeah, yeah man, that was a good one though. Now, where, can, where, where can people find them? Yeah, uh, you guys can find us on um, at the un, uh, the under, underscore unforgettables. Um, you can find us at at the Jacksons, the Jacksons RB, RB and Money Mellow Gang for me. You know, mm-hmm. or you know, support the company. Shout out to Brazzers. Uh, you guys watch Pornhub. You see me pop up on the side. It's okay to click that link. Uh, <laughs> like, yeah. comment. He's just an extra in the back. That's it. I'm and just an extra. Be, don't be like our DM. Watch that. Hey, so, yeah. Yeah. Hey, so, so you were talking about that extra job? Yeah, you ready? <laughs> okay, we'll talk right after this show. <laughs> <laughs> but no, it's been a pleasure, man. Yeah. Thank you guys for having yeah, us. Thank yeah, you. Thanks for stopping in. That's what love. What about our, our mystery guest on the couch? Are you even going to introduce our mystery guest on the no, couch? No, he's going to be a, he's going to be here. He's going to be on the. Oh, he's going to okay. be on. The so we got to get a bigger chair. Hang on. We got to get a bigger chair for him. Bro. We can have this one. In the coming when weeks, he, he, well, our mystery guest will, will make an appearance. You don't know who I am yet, but I'll be here soon. Yeah, mystery hey, guest. Mystery guest coming next week. <laughs> Tune in. Thank you.
Alexa for jumping in. For the love. Go jump on. Anytime. Uh, was it, was it, what was the podcast called? Women with Mics. Women with Mics. Yes. Oh, that Women with fun. Mics. Yeah, I yeah. just filmed my first episode yesterday. So, Women with Mics. Congratulations. Huh? Well, thank you. That sounds like a beginning of the scene. Banner's like, I want to be on that <laughs> one too. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> well, <laughs> well, well, like, well, 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 I'm going to raise some you know. He's like, I'm a woman. I'll just talk to you. What else do I need? He's like, hey, listen, uh, woman with mics, I'm a vegan, yeah, I got some meat. Got woman with other things. <laughs> I got some meat. I don't need a zucchini. <laughs> hey, special thanks to uh, should we should we say uh, fact check Mike guy his name or should we just leave him alone? I don't know. We could just give a head nod. You like you want your name to be known? Young Johnny. Hey, shout out Young to Johnny. Johnny and he's background. gonna be here too one of these days. You know, we will work him up there. You know. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Drix is in Mexico. He couldn't be on today. And then Lalo, I guess Lalo, we were, he was mad at us calling him that he wasn't talking. But I was actually excited he was going to talk this week. And then he got got skipped. I think that was like a bench bench move by so so so. Maybe next week we'll see Lalo. Damn, bro, we're gonna cut all this out. Nobody gonna hear yeah. this shit. <laughs> Later, guys. See you. Thanks. Peace.